Welcome to the Boost Your IQ video series. This series demonstrates setup and operation of unique features on the Liquid Control's IQ family of registers. Be sure to follow our YouTube channel and you will be notified as new features are released in this video format. I'm Jeff Hageman and today I'm going to demonstrate the Deadman Control System setup and operation on the IQ register. The Deadman Control feature on the IQ register allows us to do a number of different functions. First, we can take the signal from a dead man control handle and bring that into one of the digital inputs on the LCR IQ and configure that to operate as the dead man control. Second, the dead man control on the input can then be tied to the solenoid valve output on the LCR IQ which controls the primary flow control valve. And third, the IQ register has a series of triggers and timers that can be used in conjunction with the dead man circuitry. These can be used to trigger things such as indication or warning lights, or sound alarms or buzzers. To begin the process of setting up the dead man control feature, we first need to put the IQ register in the calibration position. Locate the bolt on the side of the register and rotate it counterclockwise about six turns. If you have a printer connected to your register, at this point it will print a calibration ticket. I don't have a printer connected, so I'll press the abort print button. From the main menu, use the up or down arrows on the navigation wheel to scroll to Setup Menu, and then press OK. From the Setup Menu, use the up or down arrows on the function wheel to scroll to I.O. Setup, and then press OK again. Once in the I.O. Setup menu options, use the left and right arrow buttons on the function wheel to scroll between the pages of I.O. Setup until you're on I.O. Setup screen 3 of 4. This is where the digital inputs for the IQ register are set up. Although all the digital inputs inside the IQ register are configurable, digital input 1 and digital input 2 are typically reserved for channel A and channel B of the pulser. For this demonstration, we're going to use Digital Input 4 for our dead man control. I'm going to scroll down to Digital Input 4 and press OK. From here, it will bring up a list box of all the available options for the digital input. I'll select dead man and press OK. Now when I wired up my IQ register, I took the two wires from my dead man controller and wired them to Digital Input 4 and to Ground. This creates the circuit needed for the dead man controller. Next, we're going to use the left or right arrows on the function wheel to scroll to I.O. Setup screen 4 of 4. Here, we're going to set up a couple different digital outputs to trigger different alerts or alarms. First, I'm going to scroll down to Digital Output 1 and press OK. Then I'm going to select dead man from the list of available options for digital outputs and press OK again. Now that Digital Output 1 is set to Dead Man, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner there's a new function button labeled Dead Man Setup. I'm going to press the Dead Man Setup button and this will bring up a list of Dead Man parameters that we can set up for this digital output. So for this first digital input, what I'd like to do is trigger an indication light. That indication light should turn on any time the Dead Man handle is engaged or triggered, and it should turn off when the Dead Man handle is released. To set up this indication, we're going to use the first field in the Digital Output Setup section that's labeled Output Signal when Dead Man is engaged. We want to make sure that that field is set to On, like my example here. On is always the default for this setting. Next, I want to set up this digital output for my indicator to also flash when it reaches a warning period. The second field in the Digital Output Setup allows us to set up that feature. In this case, I have it set to oscillate the output every half a second, which will cause the lamp that is tied to my indicator to flash. The last option we can set up is the output signal when the total dead man timer has expired. In this case, we're going to set that to off. This will turn off the indicator once the dead man circuit is released. Next, I'm going to set up a second digital output for a buzzer. So to do that, I'm going to exit digital output 1, scroll down, to digital output 2 and press OK. I'll set this to dead man also. 
And again, once I set that to dead man, here in the corner, I get a dead man setup button. I'll press that button, and now I can set up these fields. Now this time, the output signal when the dead man is engaged, I don't want that to turn on because I don't want my buzzer to be sounding the entire time the dead man controller is engaged. So I'm going to set that to off. But I do want that signal to oscillate. In other words, I want it to buzz every half second once the warning period has been reached. I also don't want the buzzer to continue signaling after the timer is expired, so I set that feature to off. Once I've set up these settings for Digital Output 2, I can press the close button to go back to I.O. Setup Screen 404. Next, we're going to have a look at the Dead Man Timing Setup that we referenced when talking about setting up the digital outputs. To access the Timing Setup, we're going to exit the I.O. Setup by pressing the Setup Menu button. Once we're at the Setup Menu, we're going to use the up and down arrows to scroll to Register, then press OK. Then we're going to use the left or right arrows to scroll through the pages in Register until we find Register Screen 404. This is where we'll find the settings for the dead man timers. The first setting, total dead man timeout, is the total amount of time the system will allow you to toggle or engage the dead man controller and leave it engaged. In this case, 120 seconds or two minutes. This means someone can hold the dead man handle in for up to two minutes before the system will pause the delivery and stop the fueling. The next field, Dead Man Warning Timeout, is another setting within the total Dead Man Timeout that can be set to enter a warning period. In this case, we have that set to 90 seconds. That means of the total 120 seconds applied to the Dead Man Timeout, after the first 90 seconds, we'll enter a warning period. In our case here, that means our indicator lamp will start to flash and our buzzer will start to buzz. These are the standard default timers for the dead man control feature in the IQ register. They are adjustable, however, and for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to shorten up these timers. I'm going to reduce the total dead man timeout from 120 seconds to just 30 seconds. And I'm also going to reduce the dead man warning timer to just 15 seconds. This means that once I engage the dead man handle, the timer will start, and after 15 seconds, it will enter the warning period, and after 30 seconds, it will pause the delivery. Now that we have our timer settings adjusted, we can return back to the main menu. To do this, we just press the Setup Menu button, and this will bring us back to the Setup Menu. Then we can press the Main Menu button, and this will take us back to the Main Menu. To get back to the Delivery Mode, we need to exit the Calibration. So to do this, we locate the bolt on the side of the register, and rotate it back into the housing clockwise until the bolt is snug against the front cover of the housing. If you have a ticket printer connected to the register, it will print a calibration ticket at this time. If not, just press the Abort Print button, and this will bring you back to the main menu. Then press the Home button to get back to the Delivery Status Idle screen. Now, to demonstrate this feature, I'm going to add a second camera. The second camera is showing my simulated control panel. Up here is S1. That's your primary flow control for the system. Down here is my digital output one and that is my indicator lamp for my dead man control. Lastly is my digital output 2. That lamp won't illuminate, but that's my buzzer for my warning timer. For this demonstration, I've also connected a dead man handle to one of my digital inputs. To demonstrate this feature, I'll press the start button on the register. This will cause the counter to reset and then it will be ready for an active delivery. You can see the status is active and the screen is yellow showing that we're in an active delivery. You'll also notice that on the control panel my S1 for my primary control valve and my indicator for my dead man are both not illuminated meaning they're not active. This is because I have not triggered the dead man handle yet. So now if I grab my dead man and I trigger the handle you'll see flow will start my primary flow control, or S1, is illuminated, is red, and my digital output 1 for my dead man indicator is lit up green. If I release the handle, you'll see S1 will close my primary flow, and as well as digital output 1 will shut off. So the delivery is paused. If I re-trigger the handle, flow will continue. So now if you remember, I reset the warning timer to 15 seconds. So if I leave the handle engaged for the 15 seconds, what will happen is 
Once the timer expires, digital output 1 will start to flash as programmed. And now you can see digital output 2 is also engaging my buzzer. If I retoggle the dead man handle, the timer is reset and flow continues to flow. Now this time, I'll let the dead man warning timer expire and I'll continue to hold the handle down. So now I'm in the warning period. You can see flow is still active as my S1 is still on. But if we wait the full 30 seconds for the timer to expire, both the digital output 1 and S1 will shut off. As you can see there, so the dead man handle is still toggled. The primary flow control is off as well as digital output 1 for my dead man handle. To reactivate the flow, just release the dead man handle and squeeze it again. And now I'm back to flowing product. As you can see, this is a very simple but powerful tool that's available to you in the IQ register. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on the dead man control feature in the IQ register. If you have any questions on this feature or any feature in the IQ register, please do not hesitate to reach out to Liquid Control's Technical Services Department. Thank you.